Good morning students. Welcome to e-learning classes. Today we will learn the second chapter of science that is nutrition in animals. This video is just the summary of what we will learn in detail in our interactive class. Okay, so let's start. What is nutrition? You all must have read in your previous class, right? Nutrition is the process of a living being's ability to eat food and use the component of those food to fuel growth and development. There are two modes of nutrition that is heterotrophic nutrition and autotrophic nutrition. Autotrophic nutrition it is the mode of nutrition where green plants make food themselves from simple substances. Okay. What is heterotrophic nutrition? Heterotrophs are organisms who are unable to produce their own food and therefore must obtain food from an external source. For example, bacteria, fungi, animal, we human being, we all are heterotrophs. Clear? Now, heterotrophic nutrition is subdivided into three types that is Holozoic nutrition, saprophytic nutrition, and parasitic nutrition. Holozoic is a Greek word. Holo means whole. Zoikos means of animals. So in this type of nutrition, the organism take their food, whether solid or liquid, as a whole. This food is used to release energy by a series of chemical reactions in their body. Holozoic nutrition is again subdivided that is herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. There are five major steps involved in holozoic nutrition. First is ingestion that is taking in complex food through mouth opening. Second digestion that is change of complex food into simple form by action of some enzymes. The third one is absorption. It means passing of simple soluble nutrients through blood or lymph. Fourth is assimilation. That means utilization of absorbed food. Whatever food you are taking, it is being utilized for various metabolic process. And the last one is the ejection. That means expelling out of the undigested food from your body, from your, the animal's body. Amoeba, which is a unicellular organism, also have a holozoic nutrition. It's quite strange, isn't it? It has all the five steps, that is ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation and ejection. Clear? As you can see in the picture, we will learn in detail in our interactive classes. Now next is the decomposers. It is of two types, saptotrophs and detritivores. Organisms that feed on the detritus and decomposing organic material of living organism is called detritivores, whereas saprotrophs are the organisms that feed on dead organism and products of living organism. They do not ingest the whole food, but rather they absorb decomposed uh, and digested food. Clear? They do not ingest the whole food like the detritivores. Now the last one is the symbiosis. It is defined as the living together in more or less intimate association or close union of two dissimilar organisms. The organisms that live together in such relationship are called symbionts. Now this is again subdivided that is commensalism, mutualism and parasitism. Commensalism is where one species is benefited and one is harmed. Mutualism means both the species are benefited from this. And the last one is the parasitism in which one spe species gets benefit and the other one is harmed or, the, or it dies. So basically parasitic nutrition is the mode of heterotrophic nutrition in which an organism that is parasite live on the body or inside the body of another organism called the host. The parasite get its nutrition from the host organism. So what is the difference between a parasite and a saprophytes? So the basic difference is that parasite interact with a living organism whereas saprophytes interact with a dead or decaying body parts. Clear? 
so what is the example of a parasitic nutrition the best example is the mosquito which is all around us all the time right now next is nutrition in human beings nutrition in human beings take place in the digestive system it consists of the alimentary canal and glands which produce enzymes which breaks down food into smaller molecules the main organs of the digestive system are mouth esophagus stomach small intestine large intestine and anus and the main glands are salivary gland gastric glands liver pancreas and the intestinal glands so this was all about nutrition which we will learn in our interactive classes when we will meet okay so thank you so much students